Welcome to a new episode of Smarter by the Second. And today is already the last episode of the season. And we also have a very special contestant because here in the studio with me is Oisin himself. Hey, hello. Yeah, it's good to be here. I, I have to say it feels more relaxed sitting here than there. Yes. No, I don't have to worry about You have a more relaxed outfit as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's casual Monday. Uh... Wednesday, casual Wednesday. Today. Casual Wednesday, we'll see when this <laughs> airs. <laughs> so uh, you are participating today, can you explain why? Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm leaving Enschede. I'm going to study econometrics in Maastricht. So unfortunately, I also will be leaving the committee. Ooh. So of course, then you have to participate as is tradition as of now. As is tradition, as you are the first we person to leave the this. committee. We have decided this, I think, two years ago. Yeah, we right? have decided a long time ago, but the committee is so much fun that no one wanted to leave until you decided I'm gonna to I'm going to miss this else. the most, I think. Um, yeah. Understandable. So you are joining today in media. Media, yeah. So did you also make all the media rounds for the other participants? <laughs> yeah, so I made the, yeah, I usually make the media questions. So I, th I thought it was fitting that I would participate in media as well. Yeah, so to I did not make my rounds. <laughs> yeah, so. I want to make that clear as well. <laughs> this is not rigged. No, We're it's not. going to put you on the spot right here. <laughs> no. Okay, then uh, I think we can just go into it. Yeah. So on to the first round. Being at work can be quite boring at times. Days could go by without anything happening. Yet somehow work has inspired quite a lot of TV series. Here we have nine workplace comedies. You will get a poster of the comedy, I will tell you the name of the comedy and you okay. have to say at what is the uh, most common workplace there. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going all out for this one, uh, for the finale. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so the options are hospital, bar, paper company, local government, diner, police station, delivery company, radio station and hotel. Ooh. You already have some guesses uh, what, what company, shows. I don't know. <laughs> Local government, police station. Yeah, I should know. All right, that. we'll see. I hope the others uh, will come to you when you see yeah. uh, the series. Yeah. So uh, let's start. Frasier. Oh, okay. Uh, radio station. Scrubs. Oh, that's a hospital. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, police station. Two bro girls. Mm. Oh, diner, I think. Futurama. You're, oh, delivery company. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. It's the government, local government. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, bar. Faulty Towers. Hotel, I think. And The Office. That is, uh, what is it called? A paper company. Yeah, stop the time. Yeah, I have everything correct, I think. <laughs> You're very cool. <laughs> I think so. I don't oh, think... Some uh, I could deduce from the sort of the outfits or something. Uh, yeah, that's true. So I don't think I have to explain the rules to you, but for the viewers at home, you need to have five correct answers here. Yeah. And I don't think you're going to use any of your lifelines. No. no. All right, then uh, let's just go to checking. <laughs> so first up, we had uh, Frazier. And uh, yeah, this is in a radio station. You were a bit in doubt for this one, but it was uh, correct. Then we have Scrubs, and uh, I think this is the one you're talking about with the outfits. Uh, yeah. This is indeed in a hospital. You know that Fortnite dance is, I think, from Scrubs, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, from <laughs> Turn, right? <laughs> 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 so then we have Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which uh, takes place in a police station. Two bro girls, they're also wearing their diner outfit. Yeah, yeah. Futurama, you got a bit surprised by this one. This is, uh, you realized it was the delivery company. I never knew what they, they were doing, but then I saw a delivery company, I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> then we have uh, Parks and Rec, and it's the local government. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, and half of the time they're at the, at the bar. Then Faulty Towers, do you know this show? No. no Ooh, no it's a classic. I've never... When was it aired? Like uh, A long time ago. 80s or something? I think they are starting a new season as well, so that's, uh, that's kind of hype. Oh. With uh, like with uh, with uh, with John Cleese, I think he's still in there. So oh, that's sick. nice. Uh, it takes place in a hotel, and then uh, lastly, the the most difficult one for you, I guess, it's yeah. uh, the office, which is in a paper company. Yeah. So uh, you get <laughs> six uh, lifelines now in total. So uh, congratulations. Thank you. And then we go on to the second round. Lego is derived from the Danish leg god, meaning play well. In this round, we hope you also. Uh, took this to mean game well, as we have nine LEGO video games. <laughs> you will see 
a picture <laughs> and you have to guess the movie that they're uh, portraying as a game. Okay. So it's it's a game round, but it's still movies. Yeah. So yeah. you think you'll manage it if that's I the case? I think so. <laughs> Did you ever play the, the Lego games? Uh, the Star Wars with the... <laughs> the, the Yoda. <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah. Oh, I played Lego Batman. I don't oh. see it here. Uh, well, we can look at the options. We have uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, The Incredibles, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic World, the Lego movie video game, Batman and Star Wars. So you played at least two of them. Mm. Um, oh, so, Batman uh, is there. Okay. I think I played most of them myself. I'm a, I'm a huge really? fan. A connoisseur. <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, I won't say anything. You will just see a ah, screenshot okay. from the game ah, and you have okay. to tell me what Did movie Did you make is. the screenshot while playing? <laughs> no, I could have, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, uh, best of luck. Thank you. Uh, mm, is that Star Wars? The Incredibles? Batman. Oh, Jurassic World. Uh, Lord of the Rings. A Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Indiana Jones. Uh, Harry Potter. And what do I do? Oh, Lego Movie. Stop. So still, yeah. five correct answers needed. No lifelines. You think you get one uh, as well here? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Nah, stay humble. Stay humble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we can go uh, straight to checking then. Uh, so the first one, I think this is also the very first Lego video game they released, and it's uh, the original Star Wars, this with only uh, with the uh, first three uh, episodes. This one was hard to guess, but that's uh, in the cantina. Yeah, that's what I. Oh, thought. not the cantina. I mean the, the place where Drex uh, works. Oh. Then we have the Incredibles for the the second one. Then there comes Batman, then we have uh, Jurassic World, Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, here we see the Rolling Stone from Indiana Jones. Nice. This is Harry Potter, and I think this might have been the most difficult one if it wasn't the last one, but it is the Lego like, movie, what the is video that game. Little guy called again? I was I actually uh, wondering about this uh, while, while we were testing. Yes. That was it. Yeah. Poh, what a Could contestant sort of you are. I made a screenshot because I think Batman is in that movie, right? Yeah, 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 yeah he is, he is. Would have, would have the, I don't know, messed up my mind. But I'm happy All right. with the lifelines. S seven lifelines, you're going for a record here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if you get one as well in round three. Whenever Paul McCartney wouldn't want to be noticed when checking into a hotel, he would use a fake name, Paul Ramon. This fact was also known by Dee Dee, bassist of punk band The Ramones, who used this as his stage name and in turn named his entire band after it. The following punk bands probably do not have a direct link to the Beatles. Nine punk rock album covers. Ah, okay. You will see the album cover as a picture. Uh, I will tell you also the name of the album and you have to tell me the artist. Okay. So the artists you can choose from are Blondie, Joy Division, Buscox, Green Day, Nirvana, Blink-182, The Offspring, Sex Pistols, and The Clash. Okay. Are you uh, often on Spotify checking those album covers? Uh, I have a poster of Joy Division and Nirvana. Ooh. So I should know them, I think. Uh, the rest, yeah. Yeah, I like punk, though. I do know most of them. I, I only don't know Buzzcocks, I think. Ah. Yeah. All right, we will see then uh, how you yeah. do. All right, let's start the round. Never mind the bollocks. Oh, it's uh, Sex Pistols. Unknown Pleasures. Uh, Joy Division. Americana. Um, oh, I recognize it. Uh, Pass. I'm not sure. Enema of the State. Is this Blink-182? Never mind. Ah, Nirvana. Dookie. Green Day. Parallel Lines. Uh, Blondie. London Calling. Clash. Love Bites. Uh, I think that's Buzzcocks then. And then the other is The Offspring. Yeah, yeah, that's The Offspring, that one. The one I didn't have was The Offspring. Stop. So stop, yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. Six correct now. Yeah, I, th I, I won't be using a lifeline, I think. 
Okay, okay, then uh, let's go to checking again yeah. very fast. Then the first one that was never mind the bollocks, and you would maybe think that it rhymes to buscocks, but it doesn't rhyme at all, it's just the sex pistols. Then we have Unknown Pleasures by Joy Division. Yeah, I have, have a poster of this one. In my ah, nice, <laughs> nice, you should know it. Yeah. Then we have Americana, this is indeed by The Offspring. So, uh, nice, nice uh, last uh, second edition. We have Anima of the State by Blink-182. Then we have uh, Nevermind, which is of course a very famous by Nirvana. And here we have Dookie by Green Day. Nice. Parallel Lines by Blondie. London Calling by The Clash. And lastly, we have Love Bites by The Buscox. Hey. Nice. So, to make sure for the viewers at home, we are not reading this, you are just doing well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Dookie was one of the first, uh, I had like an iPod, so it was like one of the first ah. albums I had downloaded. On, like, nice, iTunes. nice. Yeah. Okay, then uh, let's see uh, whether you can also make it past uh, the last round. Yeah, I will here. choose to do uh, the other four rounds. Well. Yeah, yeah. You can only choose after the, uh, the six Wait, rounds. Wait, how many did we do yet? This, we have now three uh, oh, in the pocket. Oh, I thought we were already at four. Okay. <laughs> Man, okay. All right. <laughs> First on to round four. You're way ahead of yourself. Okay. You have to be able to do a lot of things in Smart by the second. Recognize latte art pictures quickly, decipher cryptic descriptions, or use your ears to determine what animal the noise is from. Sometimes you wish you could save your precious seconds by time traveling. Here are nine TV series and films in which you can time travel. You will see a picture uh, of the film or series, and I will tell you the uh, name of the device they use to time ah, travel. Okay. And then the series and the films you can choose from are Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Back to the Future, Doctor Who, Twelve Monkeys, Doctor Strange, Outlander, Tenet, Looper, and Dark. Are you a fan of time traveling uh, movies and series? Mm. Oh yeah, I saw Dark. It was Ooh. like so confusing. I heard it is very good. I still want but to watch it. It's really that good. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. I I should. I know three. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait, I know four. Okay, okay then okay. two more to yeah. go, and then you're uh, you're in the clear. Okay. All right, uh, let's start. Tardis. Oh, it's Doctor Who. A phone booth. Mm. Looks like there could be named Bill and Ted. So. <laughs> Time chamber. Oh, uh, I don't know. Twelve monkeys. Time stone. Uh, Doctor Strange. The machine. I don't know. Tenet. Crack not done. Uh, looks like it's Outlander or something. Wind and oh, caves. Dark, I think. Yeah. Turnstile. Oh, actually, that looks like Tenet. I think. And the DeLorean. Back to the Future, and then the other one is Looper. Stop the time. A bit of switching around. Yeah. Are there six correct? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Wait, let's see. Yeah, uh, we'll risk you, it. We'll you risk will it. risk it. Okay, okay. You've put your honor out there. Uh, then the first one, TARDIS. This is uh, for Doctor Who. Then we have the phone booth, and these guys are uh, Bill and Ted. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> then we have the time chamber, and this is uh, your first mistake of, of the day. This is Looper. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the time stone, which belongs to Doctor Strange. Yeah, okay. We have the machine, and this was 12 monkeys, okay. so switch those around. We have uh, Krak Nadun from Outlander, and the uh, Winden Caves of Dark, and then the turnstile of Tenet, oh, so nice. there you've yes. made it, okay. and of course the DeLorean for Back to the Future. Uh, okay. So congratulations, you made it past round four. Yeah. So uh, now we'll show you a promotional message and then we will back with Oisin. Are you into extreme sports? You ready? I'm excited, so... And now I'm joined by our new contestant, which is Patrick Len. Welcome Len. Sam, Emil. Here are nine positive ways of scoring points. Nine historical buildings and the populations who built them. Here are nine pictures and a description of uh, small things. Sort of a lifelong interest. 
best obsession with history? Well, I took an AP Hard History class in high school and I vaguely remember stuff from it. I do watch my fair bit of movies. I do like some video games, some anime, okay. just plenty of variety. Because I really suck in general knowledge. So I was like, media, and maybe I know still something. And uh, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Uh, because I was scared of everything of culture. By the look of your face, you're not uh, that confident. You could screw up and just use <laughs> No worries, because I do oh. have an amazing part. Oh, that's nice, party. that's nice. Oh no, the side broke down. But... For everyone at home, send this video to all your friends. So, welcome back. We are still joined here with Oisin, who has just aced the first half of this episode. So, how are you feeling now? Really confident. I was talking to you before and you were like, oh, I just want to make the second half of the episode. No, I want to win. Oh, you want to win. Yeah. So, you, you changed the goalpost and now it's... Uh... Yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. So, because we're now in the second half, that means you start again with 300 seconds and the seconds that you got before, which are still left over, ah, yeah. will be added if you are going to do the, the seventh and the eighth round. And you uh, had quite a lot of them, I think uh, over 150. So you're a bit uh, faster than the, the average uh, contestant. <laughs> so uh, let's see how fast you can do round five. Okay. In this round, we are going to go meta, because this is a round about shows where answering questions is the goal. We have nine Dutch TV quiz or game shows. Uh, okay. You will hear the intro of the show, and you have to tell me what show it is. Okay. So, the options are Ik hou van Holland, Met het mes op tafel, Lingo, De slimste mens, 2 voor 12, Per seconde wijzer, Weekend Millionaires, 1 tegen 100, and QI. Which sounds like it's only a British show, but it actually aired in the Netherlands as well. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, do you uh, watch a lot of quizzes? <laughs> uh, slimste Mens, I love Slimste Mens. So. Only the Slimste Mens from the... And I will know per second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 1 tegen 100 as well. Oh, okay. Uh, Mess op tafel, I've watched that as well. But more for the I sake think more people know it as with the knife on the table. Yeah, I, I watched it for the sake of knowing what I had to do for <laughs> the knife on the table. How oh, nice to hear that you prepare the activity. Yeah. <laughs> You will be missed as a committee uh, member. Maybe I can come back oh. for one activity. Ooh, the all-star committee members. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, then uh, yeah, I won't say a thing. You will just hear yeah. the intro and uh, go ahead. All right. Good luck. Sounds like a Mario game. Okay. Uh, Mm, QI. <laughs> okay. Sick. Uh, 2 for 12. Oh, is it 1 tegen 100? Met het mes op tafel. Oh, this is Lingo. I know this one. Oh, I come from Holland. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Slimster Men. Uh, I guess, nah, this is QI then, I think, or something. Uh, yeah, very <laughs> cool. And then the other one is Weekend Millionaires, I think. Wanna stop? Yeah, stop. Yeah. All right, because we're now in uh, round five. Yeah, you need to have seven correct answers. Check. Mm. Think. Yeah. Take your time. Mm. It's an important decision. Luckily, you have eight lifelines and a lot yeah, of seconds. Yeah, true. Ah, I'll use. I know. I'm. I'm sure about five. I will use two lifelines. Two lifelines. Yeah. Then. Okay. Then they will be subtracted. You also lose 32 seconds. And then we can go on to... I really wanted to get like a 12 life. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can get up to 13. Yeah. All right, then the first one, what we hear is... You can see uh, Robert in the game. 
This is uh, Weekend Millionaires. Really? And then the okay. next one. This one, uh, yeah, I don't watch it myself, I have to admit, but this is QI. This is QI, okay. So there we used your first live line. And then next up, yeah, this is of course uh, 1 tegen 100. Yeah. And then uh, with the knife on the table for four. So luckily you got that one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the most hype intro for, uh, for a game show ever. It's really good. It's uh, Lingo. Yeah. Of course. Uh, two more needed. Then we have. Oh, the audio uh, does not want to play it another time, but it is. Ik hou van Holland. So okay. you got that one uh, right. Yeah, okay. And then uh, we have yeah. the slimste mens, of course. Next up, we have. Oh, yeah. Two for 12, not QI. Okay. And then lastly, for the third time this episode, we'll play the intro of uh, Smarter <laughs> by the Second. <laughs> So uh, yeah, if you had this one wrong, uh, you would have not been an yeah. uh, honorary uh, member. Yeah, what would have happened? <laughs> I think we will just, uh, either way, you will be out, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think that's fair. But uh, only six lifelines left. Do you feel yeah. the heat now? Mm, uh, no, no. Still relaxed, yeah. still confident? Yeah. Maybe this was a little bit of a bump. It was a more tricky, I think. Ooh. All right, then uh, on to round six. Horror films are a widely adored genre of film, but they would not be complete without their villains. Indeed, the villain often makes for a much more memorable character than the protagonist, who becomes victims through their own stupidity. Here are nine classic villains of horror and their names. So, uh, you will see the villain. I will yeah. tell you the movie that they're in, and you have to tell me the name of the villain. Yeah. So the options are, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Norman Bates, Leatherface, Pennywise, Jack Torrance, Ghostface, Hannibal Lecter and Chucky. You're a fan of horror movies? Mm, I'm more into thrillers. Mm. I do like horrors, but usually I'm, I feel really scared in bed afterwards. <laughs> you can't sleep. Yeah. You have to leave the light on. Yeah, I think I once I was uh, I was watching like the haunting of Hill House, where there's like this girl and she has like a sort of demon following her in her sleep, and I <laughs> after watching that I also got like sleep paralysis demons like sometimes. Damn. Yeah, yeah, was really was really weird. So, All right, hopefully this round <laughs> won't uh, haunt you. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope, hope it so. goes well. All right, uh, let's start. First up, child's play. Uh, it's Chucky. Scream. Uh, so ghost face, then, I think. The Sinus of the Lambs. Oh, animal Lecter. The Shining. Jo here's Johnny. Wait. Mm. Oh, Jack Torrance. I read this book. Friday the 13th. Mm. Jason Voorhees, I think. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It looks like Leatherface. Looks like Halloween. Or is that Leather? I don't know which is Leatherface. Uh, Michael Myers. Psycho. Uh, Norman Bates. And it. Pennywise. Stop the time. Mm. Uh, it's Stefan again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not sure about two, I think. So that means no live lines? I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, wait. I think it's Jason Forrest. It's like the one with the... Mm. Not sure. Um... Uh, Wait, I have enough seconds. I'll just use two lifelines. Just to be sure. Yeah, yeah. To be on the safe side. Yeah. All right, then again, two lifelines, 32 seconds gone. And yeah. then we'll go on to checking. So it means you only need to get five by yourself. So first up, we have Child's Play. And for you, this was Child's Play because this is indeed Chucky. Yeah. Then we have Scream with the famous mask. It's Ghost Face. Silence of the Lambs, it's Animal Lecter. We have The Shining, you already did the uh, famous quote, so it's uh, Jack Torrance indeed. You read the, the book? Have yeah. you also seen the movie or not? No. <laughs> uh, no. Well, I have not uh, seen or, or read it, so... Uh, I watched the, 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 the sequel, what is it called again? Uh, Ooh, that I do not know. I don't know, I don't know, I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, Doctor Sleep. Alright, impressive. Sleep. Yeah. Flexing your knowledge here. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, next up we have uh, Friday the 13th, and this is indeed Jason. Oh, I did, okay. So then we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this is Leatherface. And then that means next up Halloween is Michael Myers. Psycho is Norman Bates, and last one, it is Pennywise. So no lifelines needed, but you get one back. So you only lost one here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you also lost some precious seconds. So now this is the, the moment, and I think I already know the answer. But do you want to continue for that yeah. seventh and eighth round? Of course. Oh, of I course. would not have it any other way. So that means you will now get your 157 seconds from, uh, from your first half back again. So you almost start again with 300 seconds, six lifelines. Ah, okay. But now all answers need to be correct. Yeah, okay. So it can go fast with the lifelines. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, so, uh, six, so it should be. We'll fine. see how you do. Be fine. Then uh, on to the first uh, of the final two rounds. Okay. Fortnite began as a battle royale game, quickly becoming one of the most played games of its time. But as the developers have added more content, the game has basically children smashing their favorite toys into each other. Here are nine celebrities with their very own Fortnite skins. So the options you can choose from are Marshmallow, Eminem, LeBron James, and I practice this name, Giannis Adedokupo, Travis Scott, Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, The Kid Leroy, and Bruno Mars. Are you a Fortnite gamer? I played it once. Once, that's and one I, time more than I did. I also had one kill, I remember. Ooh. And also I one death. I sniped a moving um, a guy who was running. Oh, you sniped it. And I got it. killed in the back and then I never played uh, it again. But uh, do you know these uh, people? Yeah, most of them. All right. I think. Yeah. So uh, then let's see how well yeah. you can uh, okay. recognize them as Fortnite characters. Uh, I won't say a thing, it will just be a picture of them and you have to say the name. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. Um, Ariana Grande. Bruno Mars. Eminem. And the Kid Leroy. LeBron James. A marshmallow. <laughs> uh, mm, that might be the Kid Leroy. The Weeknd. Travis Scott, and then the other is Janis uh, Antetokounmpo. Uh, stop the time. So there, there is no room for errors anymore. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. We uh, still have six live lines over 250 seconds. Only one round left after this. Keep that uh, in mind. No, I think I have all correct actually. I will not use any lifeline. Not use a lifeline. Yeah, I have to okay. save it for the last one. All right, and then if you do the last, if it, you're now uh, through to the last round, okay. and you have six lifelines, so that means you only need to get three correct. Yeah. So exactly. we'll see how you'll manage. Oh no, seven. I'll get, I'll get one extra. Right? Oh, true. If uh, if you are through, you also yeah. have a seven. All right. Uh, first up, this is uh, of course Ariana Grande. Then we have Bruno Mars. We have Eminem, we have Giannis Adedokounmpo. Adedokounmpo, yeah, it's uh, Nigerian, it's not Greek. Okay. Then for the twice in a row, we have now a basketball player, it's LeBron James. Marshmallow, and then when you said Kid Leroy the second time, you were correct. The eighth one is The Weeknd, and it means nice. that the ninth one is also correct. This is Travis Scott, so Ooh. congratulations. Okay. You also get indeed a seventh lifeline and you have plenty of seconds. Yeah. If you use all seven of them, <laughs> you use a bit less than 100 seconds. So if you can do this round in uh, two minutes, you can use uh, all of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then you only need two of them correct. Nice. So okay. uh, we'll see how you do. Yeah. Love triangles are where romance and drama intertwine. They are always complex and captivating and on their own make for some credible stories. Here are some films that featured love triangles and the parties involved. So as the options you will have uh, the movies yeah. and you will uh, see and I will tell the names of the love triangle uh, which takes place in that movie. Ah, okay. So the options are Casablanca, The Notebook, The Great Gatsby, Twilight, 
Richard Dawn's Diary, Past Lives, Challengers, Titanic, and The Graduate. Ah. You think you would be able to do this without any lifelines? Oh, maybe. I've heard a lot about The Graduate, and it all sounds very disturbing, sort of <laughs> weird. Okay. I will see. I know most of the movies, I think. All right, then uh, we'll see how you will do in the final round. Yeah. Okay. See if you can make the committee proud. <laughs> yeah. So you will see the love triangle and I will tell you the names as well. Okay, yeah. All right, good luck fine, for the final round. First one, Art, Patrick and Tashi. Oh, man. Challengers. Benjamin, Mrs. Robinson and Elaine. Is that the graduate? Bridget, Mark, and oh, Daniel. Oh, yeah, that's Bridget Jones, Diary. Jack, Rose, and Caledon. Great Gatsby. Jake, Bella, and Edward. <laughs> Twilight. Jay, Daisy, Tom. Oh, wait, that's the graduate. The other one is... Wait, sorry, that is um, the Great Gatsby. And the other one is then... Where I said Great Gatsby is the Titanic. Noah, Ellie, Long. Um, notebook. Nora Moon, Heysen, and lives. Arthur. Rick, Ilsa, and Victor. Oh, Casablanca. Stop the time. Uh, you can use all seven of them. Nah. You want to make a show out of it? Uh, I think... Uh, I hope I switched them correctly, actually. We will risk it. Uh, no lifelines. No lifelines? No lifeline. You're going all in yeah. here. You're doing a, a Niels Berg. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> All right, great to see the homage to him. <laughs> yeah, legend. legend. <laughs> all right, let's see uh, if you uh, risk it all and have won. So first up, we have Art, Patrick and Tashi for Challengers. Oh, okay. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> what could have all gone wrong? Oh, we have no. Benjamin, Mrs. Robinson and Elaine for The Graduate. Then we have Bridget, Mark and Daniel on The Bridget, of course, stands for Bridget Jones Diary. Then we have Titanic, yeah. then we have Twilight, and then the other movie uh, with Leo, yeah, it's I The Great Gatsby, yeah. and then we have The Notebook, and then Past Lives, which means yes. the last <laughs> one is also great, the last yes. one is Casablanca, so congratulations, you actually managed to beat the entire yes, uh, episode. Go. Oh, so okay. What do you feel? What is Relief. Relief. <laughs> Yeah. Now you can uh, leave the committee with your head. Yeah, yeah, otherwise I couldn't leave the committee. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, <laughs> went out in the first round and people yeah. were like, oh, this guy was making rounds. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. It would have taken all the credibility away, I think. All right. Then so, yeah. uh, I felt a lot of pressure. All right. Yeah. I want to thank you on behalf of the entire committee uh, for all your hard work you put you. in this. And uh, of course. We couldn't end this episode mm. without a clock. You also won the show, so you will get an actual yes, award as nice. well. So, uh, congrats. Any it's final real. words you want it's to real. say to the, to the viewers at home? Uh, I mean, uh, if you want to join the committee, it's the best committee in the whole country. So, uh, oh. feel free to join. And also, if you want to join Smarter by the Second, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Um, I mean, there's Would no say it's quite pressure. easy or... Uh, yeah, it's really easy. <laughs> you mean there's a lot of people have already made fools of themselves, so yeah, it true. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, and then with this speech, we also wrap up the season of Smarter by the Second. Thank you all for watching, and please tune in next year when we come back with another new season with new participants. It will be a lot of fun. See you then.